I am joined by Dr. Shugato Bhattacharji, who was uh, sitting next to or very close to uh, the passenger uh, on uh, that flight from New York to Delhi who urinated on a co-passenger. Thanks uh, very much for being with us. Dr. Bhattacharji, do you believe that there is a systemic problem in the way in which Air India has been dealing with unruly passengers? I think uh, it's not a systemic problem. I think it is uh, the fear of no consequences. Uh, because things happen, uh, half of the things are reported, and even th when things are reported, uh, you know, no actions, adequate actions are taken. So uh, I think uh, this unruly people who are in, who are unruly in general, they get a sense of arrogant entitlement that we can do anything and get scot free, and uh, because. Air India is a airline, but it is also more of a government body. There are so many bureaucratic level and processes that at times taking action uh, becomes a challenge. You know, I read the interview of yours where you mentioned that your co-passenger, who, who, who was the man who urinated on the senior citizen on that flight from New York, had consumed four whiskeys, four single malts over lunch. Is that correct? Just one meal? Four drinks down? Uh, over the lunch, yes. And when I went to wash my hands, I had flagged the mail parser. I said, listen, he's, he's being repetitive. He's keep asking me the same question about my family and kids uh, over and over again. So just keep an eye. And then I went to sleep. And then, of course, I narrated the whole incidents when I woke up. Uh, and I went back and I, I, I encountered the lady. Uh, she, uh, I thought she must have spilled a drink or something, Vishnu, but uh, uh, because you can't even imagine things like that happen. And she was a very quiet lady, decent lady. So uh, even uh, people in business was not even aware what was happening. Uh, you, my, my, uh, my, in general, uh, the, the complaint I spy, uh, filed, Vishnu, yes, uh, you know, the, uh, Mr. Mishra did something wrong and let the law take its own action and the investigation is on. But he was not in census. My complaint is for people, those who were in census and people, those who had the authority to do stuff like specifying a distressed passenger, giving her a fresh seat, uh, reporting the incident, and, uh, and not to bring both of them together and mediate. Do you believe passengers like this need to be put on a no-fly list for a substantial period of time? Vishnu, it's a it's a sad story for everyone. You know, it's you know I take no joy in speaking to you. I wish I was speaking no, for something more positive, because sure. nobody nobody comes out as winner here. You know, you have you have a lady who is uh, you know who is traumatized. I again spoke to her daughter. She's still in shock. In fact, they refrain her from watching all the news. And even Mishra, a young person, because of his. Uh, alcohol in this incident. He has lost a job. His family is going through ordeal. Uh, Tata spent an enormous amount of money to do a facelift to Air India. They are going through this. Uh, uh, sure, some some action has to be taken so that people are afraid of doing such incidents. That that I'll do something and I'll I'll somehow uh, get get away with it. You know, um, should not be the trend. When this passenger, Mr. Mishra, woke you up, um, or woke up himself, rather, he asked you if he did something wrong. What exactly did you say? And, no, he, I'm, I'm going to quote. He said, he said, bro, I think I'm in trouble. And that's the exact quote. And I said, you are. And, uh, and then he started saying, oh, you know, I had, uh, uh, I had a long layover. I have not slept. I don't know. I just drank a lot because I wanted to sleep. And uh, so, you know, I was irritated by that. And, and, and I, I, I was more disgusted when I saw that they were taken on the galley and there was a mediation going on. Because it, uh, I went and I asked the uh, head, pers uh, head stewardess, give her a fresh seat. And they're like, oh, the, the whole business is full. I said, if the business is full, go, uh, give her a seat uh, in first. The entire first is empty. We cannot give uh, her a seat in first. I said, why not? Do I have to take a permission from the uh, pilot? Go and take a permission from the pilot. Well, the pilot in command is resting. 
So, right. you know, again, the attitude is as if you are in a Sarkari office. Yeah. Uh, it should be immediate, you mm-hmm. know, and they are trained for that. And hopefully and things... Yeah. The, buck stop, the buck stops with, with the, at the top, Vishnu, yeah. and the only and the only person who could have done everything right is the, is the commander, because a lot of times the crew are afraid to take uh, uh, calls because they don't know what will be the uh, fallback on them. But the pilot and the commander had if they they have and they have authority to do anything they want to and they didn't do and, and right. they should have done.